Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade, and this is the Oh My God Show, and we are reading through the Bible, and we are in the book of Deuteronomy. Now, the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. It has a total of six, six books. Now, each book is divided into chapters and verses. Now, the Bible has the ability to change your life because certainly it has changed mine. Now, let's get right into it. In chapter 13, verse 1, it says, If a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a sign or wonder, and if the sign or wonder spoken of takes place, and the prophet says, Let us follow other gods, gods you have not known, and let us worship them, you must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart, and with all your soul. It is the Lord your God you must follow and him you must revere. Keep his commands and obey him, serve him and hold fast to him. That prophet or dreamer must be put to death for inciting rebellion against the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. That prophet or dreamer tried to turn you from the way the Lord your God commanded you to follow. You must purge the evil from among you. If your very own brother or your son or daughter or the wife you love or your closest friend secretly entices you saying, let us go and worship other gods, gods that neither you nor your ancestors have known, gods of the peoples around you, whether near or far, from one end of the land to the other. Do not yield to them or listen to them. Show them no pity. Do not spear them or shield them. You must certainly put them to death. Your hand must be the first in putting them to death and then the hands of all the people. Stone them to death because they try to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Then all Israel will hear and be afraid, and no one among you will do such an evil thing again. If you hear it said about one of the towns the Lord your God is giving you to live in, that troublemakers have arisen among you and have led the people of their town astray, saying, Let us go and worship other gods, gods you have not known, then you must inquire, probe and investigate it thoroughly and if it is true and it has been proven that this detestable thing has been done among you you must certainly put to the sword all who live in the in that town you must destroy it completely both its people and its livestock you are to gather all the plunder of the town into the middle of the public square and completely burn the town and all its plunder as a whole burnt offering to the lord your god that town is to remain a ruin forever never to be rebuilt and none of the condemned things are to be found in your hands then the lord will turn his fierce anger will show you mercy and will have compassion on you he will increase your numbers as he promised in an oath to your ancestors because you obey the lord your god by keeping all his commands that i am giving you today and doing what is right in his eyes this is the word of the lord we honor it by saying thanks be to god for his holy word father god we thank you for our life we thank you for hope we thank you that you are God who loves us so much, oh God, and has taken the time to give us a thousand chances over and over again. Father God, I pray today that your mercy will not run out on us, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will give us an urgency in our spirit to live right, to live clean, to walk holy and righteous before you, oh God, to consecrate our lives to you, oh God, and to pray against the demonic altars that have been raised against us in the name of jesus christ we pray oh god for forgiveness oh god please forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness father god please make the crooked ways in our hearts straight oh god allow us to follow your straight and narrow way oh god and not lead us father god to the broad way not let our hearts lead us to the broad way of destruction father god you have warned us in, in your words oh god you have given us this Bible as an example, Father God, of what happens to people who disobey you and the rewards that you have for people who obey you, obey you, God. I pray you will give us the will, the strength, the courage to obey you, God, to follow you, even though sometimes it may be difficult for us, oh God. I pray that you will give us the strength to fight, oh God, to fight, oh God, the flesh, oh God, to resist the devil so that he can flee from us, oh God, and that we will submit ourselves to you, oh God, so that you can use us to be a blessing and not a curse to our 
our generation. We thank you for all you do, oh God, for us. We thank you for blessing and keeping us, oh God. We thank you that you're giving us the strength to honor you with our life, oh God. And that our life, even in the secret place, oh God, will be holy, oh God. Father God, help us not to be hypocrites who can only worship in public, who can only praise you in public, who can only be right in the sight of our, our friends or, or those who will be seeing us, God, in church. But I pray, oh God, that our secret lives, oh God, and even in our secret lives, oh God, that we will be holy, that we will be truthful, that we will be just. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Blade and I will see you next time. Bye for now. See you next time. I'm Blade and I'm cutting. See you next time.